Hey friends, welcome back. It is time to prune my trees. Some of them are getting a little carried away and it is time to... <laughs> um, it is mid-May and ideally I think it is best to prune them a little bit right now when it's not too, too hot. You don't want rain in the forecast because once you make a cut, you want it to heal and it takes a day or so for it to build a layer of um, just like our skin, you know, when it builds like a crust. Well, the trees do the same. They'll go through their normal healing uh, routine. So you don't want moisture. You don't want anything wet on it. Another thing is I want to control size. And during the summers when we get the most vigorous growth, I want to maintain the backyard orchard. And in order for me to do that, I have to prune them a little bit more often. Now, like if you're looking at an actual farm, they want the tree to grow, to grow really big because they want a lot of fruit production. In the backyard orchard, I don't want that much fruit. I want enough for my, for my family and to share, but that's it. So keeping it small, contained, that's why I have so many varieties. Each one of my tree varieties um, is set to harvest at different times of the month. Overall, throughout the year, I should have a fruit harvest almost for the 12 months, hopefully. It's my fingers crossed. <laughs> but I'm not gonna prune a lot of the trees. I might just find maybe some dead branches or so, but overall, um, like half of them will get some pruning. I'm not a professional. Remember, this is my second year with these trees on the ground, and before that, I didn't have any fruit trees. I didn't have a garden, I didn't have anything. All I have depend on is other YouTubers and Google. So bear with me. If you see something or recommend something, let me know because I truly appreciate all the feedback. This is my first set of trees. This is the first cluster of four that I'll be pruning. Pruning. <laughs> pruning. <laughs> And I'm using the Felco 2s. Um, I do love these pruners, and I think this is gonna be the last year that I'll be able to use this uh, majority because the limbs are still pretty small. I think next year I'll have to use the loppers. But Felco 2, really good. And we're gonna go off at an angle at all the cuts, and I'll show you in detail exactly where I cut and why I cut there. This is what they look like and you see I use somewhat of where the fence is to measure how far up I want. Now you see how these shoot up? Those you're not really going to get any fruit from those. You're only going to get fruit from the lateral branches. The fruiting wood is more of the lateral fruit. I, I would say like see here's an example. You see this is where you get your fruit you're not and this is on older wood this is last year's wood um so for example this is new i'm not going to cut this because this will fruit next year all of these lateral branches would do that now if you look at the very top if you're looking at them and they're growing up north you're not going to get the fruit so i'm going to go ahead and cut that and i'll look for branches that are crossing Here's a good example. You see this one right here? It's, it's gonna start crossing over here. And we don't want that. So I'm gonna make cuts like this. This is going. And I'll make some cuts here in between because I still want to be able to walk in between the clusters. And all of these would bud out. So if I make a cut, right here next to this bud it would be at the same angle as the bud and i would like to keep this bud so it could have a lateral branch grow from there so i'm going to go ahead and do that and just like that well nah that's not good okay you see what i did i cut it straight i was trying to do it with my hand so i'm going to go ahead and cut below and I want the next bud so it can it can grow out this way and I'm gonna cut at an angle just a little bit above that bud and that's it that's how we're gonna do everything one thing I also do is that just look at the overall 
tree structure, basically the crown. And I look at the shape that I want, the height that I want, and how I want to control it. And if I make a mistake, it will just grow back. I'm not really concerned about that. I just want to maintain the growth because it's just too much right now. And it's taking over. Plus, you're starting not to see my fountain. <laughs> and I love that fountain. So I am going to make that space. I also don't want to cut too much. Um, you don't want to go beyond a third of the tree because it could weaken the tree. Um, you can cause some sunburn or you can expose it to some diseases. You know, you, you still need time for it to heal. Okay, here's something to look at. You see how these two are hitting each other and we can see where there's some scar tissue here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one off because I do like this branch and that one's coming straight from there. Okay, here's another one. You see how this one is just heading in the wrong direction. We don't want it to cross over here. We will go ahead and cut that. There's the difference. This is my apricot tree and I've already cut as much as I want to. And then it, towards midsummer, uh, maybe around July, I will come do another cut. And then over here, you see how the difference, this is the plums. I need to do a lot more cutting on those. But just so you can see, that's all I'm doing. Okay, that's the end result. I stayed within the fence and I've, I'm letting these, I'm not sure if I want to do this yet, but I'm letting these grow out a little bit more so that they can cast a shadow here. You see, maybe I can get them to branch out a little bit. I might just cut the very tips of it and this all becomes more shaded later. Now I'm going to move on to all the rest. The cherries need grooming as well. Okay, there's the cherry. I might have cut a little bit more than a third. I hope it does okay with the other one. I might not cut that much from the apple tree that's right next to it. I just cut a few. I think it'll do okay. For some reason, this one just doesn't have any growth here. So I'm not sure. Maybe it'll fill up like this one next year. Um, I'm not going to do any cuts on this one yet. I think it's doing okay so far. Same with these other ones. I think they're filling in. And the pear, you see this little straggler? I think I'll go ahead and cut that one as well. I just don't, I think it's going to snap. It shouldn't be there. I think for this one, I'm going to make a cut probably right here and see if maybe we can get something to grow out of there and it can come up now over here I have some suckers so you don't want these because they suck up all the energy from the tree so I'm gonna go ahead and cut those out that's it I cleaned it up at the bottom I need to, to pull some weeds there so far so good I think I'm just gonna do the same here just take up a few and cut the bottom of the pomegranate here that I didn't do in the previous video. Okay, I just, you know, made a little bit of cuts just to get some sun in to the other trees. As you can tell, one is taking over the other one, so I made sure this one has enough sun. Once I'm done pruning, I'm going to come back and cut all the dead wood. I want to make sure that my pruners don't... Um, touch any of the dead wood or diseased wood as I'm cutting the other good branches. I don't want to pass down any diseases. So I'll make sure I do that at the very end. I'm not going to touch the figs yet because they have this white sap. It's getting pretty hot. The figs have a little white sap that comes out and if I do that then it's going to get all over the trees and there's a lot of fruit so I think I'm just going to wait until the fruit is ripened and then I'll come back and cut, cut the fig tree. I do, however, want to trim back some of the pear that's in the back that has all the aphids.
I did cut one fig branch, but you see the white sap? Um, because it's shading the pear and I wanted to make sure that it gets some good sun in between. That's all I cut off. And then the last of the pruning would be on the tangerine tree. I only cut a little bit of the, of the bottom and now it's time to move over to all the dead. For example here, so I'm, all I'm gonna do is just cut back to that piece and hopefully maybe still save this tree and cut all this dead wood. Maybe I need to come back with my shears on that one. And then you see this one doesn't look good at all. So I'm just going to cut it back to about the next bud. That's a bud right there. And then right there. That's all it takes. Oh, missed one. Got one up here. And I'll dig this in there and cut that off. Okay, we'll see if we can save that one. And mango also has some dead wood and one thing to look for is like for example if I cut this you see how it's see how it's so dead so that means I can cut this even further I don't know if this is um, strong enough to cut it but let's give it a try yeah yeah you see how how dead that is so I don't know how far it goes I am going to take some of these off because I'm really tired of seeing them just a few to make it look a little bit nicer I don't want to do too much so I'm trying to be very careful with this tree and maybe one more here okay I'll leave it at as that I'll come pick up afterwards and then I think over here on this little one I had a couple to cut see there's no growth here there might be growth there and maybe we can get lucky definitely cutting that one off and then here we have one that's a little dead so you want to get as far as you can there we go I'm debating if I do anything here yet um, I do have a lot of growth that's just shooting straight up that I might come back and prune but I'm not gonna do that yet I think I'm gonna probably clean my pruners and then come back to do to do it fun for me even though it's really hot and I think I um, should have put some sunblock on <laughs> I need to do that more often <laughs> but it was fun for me because I love to see the before and after and now I get to see them grow maybe um, a little bit wider than shooting up um, to the sky well I hope that was able to help you um, at least a little bit if not it was fun for me I hope you enjoyed it Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Oh Lord, it is hot. I think we're in like the 90s.